Well, hello. Uh, I got another good question for the yes or no in five minutes, uh, more or less, treatment. <laughs> the question is, uh, will Harry leave Meghan? Well, as we all know, Harry and Meghan were married uh, three years ago in a spectacular ceremony here in Britain. Uh, they announced one year ago uh, that they were leaving Britain after a brief spell here. <laughs> they decamped first to Canada and finally to a large mansion in California where they are now. Uh, Harry and Meghan have one son, Archie, and another one is on the way. Uh, and they're never out of the news, so this question <laughs> has potential worldwide interest. Okay, so what are the yes arguments? The notion that he will indeed leave Megan. Okay, here they are. First, uh, he is clearly a fish out of water in California. Uh, he simply doesn't fit and he must feel that way. He's probably struggling to relate uh, to all the A-list celebrities in his uh, fancy California neighborhood. Oh dear. Uh, second, uh, he must be fed up with being dominated by Megan, emasculated really, uh, and finding himself with no, no real role other than apparently to feed the chickens, I guess, and also to perform a vague role for a touchy-feely American uh, company that seems to offer products of well-being and that kind of thing. Uh, he could also decide to leave if he suspected adultery or even an unseemingly, uh, unseemly close relationship with another man on Megan's part. Um, any failure of the joint business with social media, filmmaking, book writing, all that stuff that they do, that could cause a complete breakdown in the marriage as the, the, the concept itself would therefore come into question. In sum, uh, he could realize that the whole marriage and departure to America uh, was a big mistake. Well, okay. How about the no people? They say no, he won't leave her. Well, first of all, and there's some kind of current psychological theory behind this, uh, Harry feels that he must protect his family and save Meghan from being a victim much as his mother was. There's some real parallels here. Uh, second, uh, he loves Megan, and he wants to be with her. That's a reason not to leave. <laughs> uh, third, he would never want to leave his children because, given his own past experience, uh, family preservation has got to be one of his uh, highest priorities. Uh, next, he might even feel that he couldn't even afford to leave her and split his fortune in half with her. After all, it seems like uh, most of their money is his. Uh, Another big factor is the idea that uh, getting away from the suffocation of the monarchy uh, was worth it. They uh, found freedom. <laughs> and finally, it would be awful to have to admit failure and to acknowledge that William was right. His brother William was right uh, when he told him to go slow, which so offended him. So, in sum, uh, there would be no obvious alternative for Harry, really. Where would he go? What would he do? I'm afraid he's not exactly over-endowed with uh, marketable skills. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, so what's my take on this? Uh, well, what do I think about Harry's position in the marriage, and what do I think will happen? I do believe that he's in a tough position, and in between two conflicting forces. Uh, first of all, uh, that of his desire to support his family, while at the same time realizing maybe deep down that he might well be better off back in Britain. Uh, much depends on the success of their venture, I would think. If they're a big success, that will nurture their relationship, and if they begin to fail and are derided and criticized in the press, that will have a hugely damaging effect on the relationship. 
I have to say that another possibility is that Megan could find someone better in her eyes. And that would be the most traumatic event of all. So it's unlikely to be a dull time for them, and I will doubtless have more to say about it. I hope you enjoyed the analysis, the questions. If so, please give me a like, subscribe, comment, notify. And I'll see you at the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.